Hey, good morning or hello, depending on the time when you're watching this. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to another cook with me. Today, I'm actually going to be cooking yam porridge. Yes, yam porridge because we haven't had it in so long. And um, yeah, I figured, you know what? I was craving it. I figured I would like to make it. So I have my yam here and then some plantains as well because I'm going to show you my recipe. You know, this recipe, that one has gone to have a, that one has gone to yield. Where did this one go to? MIC? <laughs> or something, I don't know. It's how I went to an Ivy League school. Yeah, Oxford. Yeah, that's where this yam recipe or yam porridge recipe went to. Um, also, I wanted to, you know, it's so sad what happened with uh, Sylvester and uh, Doen College and everything. It's it's horrific. I was like heartbroken seeing his story and seeing that video, which like I saw the video and I've not been able to unsee it, you know, because for a child to have been in so much pain, it's just heartbreaking. And my prayers go to his family, his, his sisters, you know, it's just, oh. Those kids involved, they have to be held responsible. I heard that they, some of them have, have been flown out of Nigeria or whatever, but like justice needs to get done. Justice, and I'm glad the Lagos State Government is looking into it already. They shut down the school, so we'll see how that goes. I'm glad everyone is speaking up, and I, I really hope those kids are brought to justice um, and they're held responsible for what happened. And, you know, that incident kind of reminded me of my boarding house experience because I also went to the boarding house and I was in the boarding house for six years and it just kind of brought back memories of the bullying that I, I experienced as well going through the boarding house and I kind of already shared a bit of it on Instagram plus the WhatsApp group I'm on for my secondary school people were now starting to share their stories and their experiences as well the thing was that I think we all just kind of blocked it out you know, the, once we left and we started to grow and become older and whatever, we just started blocking things out. I think that's why most of us just kind of, I mean, thank God for healing, for restoration. Thank God for, uh, yeah, just healing, you know, really, because some of the things we experienced, oh my God, my God, my God. Anyway, let me get started with the cooking and then I'll share with you some of the experiences that I had um, at... The school I went to, which a couple of people know, I went to Federal Girls, Akure, Fejikola. Shout out to Fejikola. That was why I attended, I attended Federal Government Girls College, Akure. I was there from, what year was it now? 1998 to 2004. That's when I was there. Let me adjust the camera real quick. Let me introduce you. Let's move this. Pa, pa, pa. I got, I got flowers as a gift this week, so <clears throat> that's why that's over there. So, um, like I said, I went to Federal Girls and my junior years were horrible, especially between GSS 1 through GSS 3. It was just horrible because the thing about, okay, this was a girls only school and the thing about it was that the only time you were safe as a junior, by, by safe, I mean, I mean safe from bullying. The only time you were safe was if you had a sister who was a senior or you had some sort of school mother who was looking out for you or something, you know. Everyone else was fair game. And you know, it was horrible. Or, except maybe you were considered to be very pretty. I know, ridiculous, but at the time, it, it, it was a thing, you know, if you, were, if you were considered to be very beautiful, then they didn't pick on you as much and all of that. But everyone of us, you know, everyone else was fair game. And I have this memory of it getting so bad when I was in, I don't know, maybe I was in just as one or just as two or so. Like, it got so bad and I was just like, Okay, I'm just done with this. I was in the boarding house, of course, but I was just like, oh no, I'm done with this. I cannot let this go on anymore. And what do I do to take myself out of, out of the situation? I drank, what did I drink? I drank, <laughs> I drank um, paint. 
Yeah. I drank paint. I ate leaves. Because I was just done, you know. But that didn't work. That didn't work, obviously, because I'm here. <laughs> Um, but that's to give you an idea of a child's mind, what it must have been like, you know. And someone was like, oh, you know, why didn't you tell your parents? Well, you, how many of us, your parents would say, oh, I have four other children that went through boarding house and they're fine, so deal with it. Or they would say, oh, it can't be that bad, or, you know, whatever. But I didn't even say anything because, okay, you say something, the seniors get into trouble, and then their friends punish you some more, you know? So it was a never-ending cycle. Okay. Okay. So the yam is ready, but I'm going to leave it inside water. I have to leave it inside water whilst I make the sauce because um, it will turn black if you don't leave it inside water. And I don't like it when my yam turns black. So let's go over to the stove. I like to always um, start with the sauce first. I know that a lot of people kind of like use water and whatnot, but I mean, I still add salt, I still add water, but I do the sauce first with my pepper and my palm oil. And this is like blended pepper that I had at home. And I believe I have added a bit of oil to this one, as you can see. So I'm not going to put too much oil in the pot. There was a time when um, I acted as a guardian angel in one drama in school and you know it was such a good drama and everything and then at night when we got back to the hostel my senior my bunkmates you know back in the days you always had a senior that the junior was responsible for and whatnot so my bunkmate was like oh you know that should be you you're a guardian angel oh yeah stand here and watch over me through the night whilst she slept, whilst everyone else slept. I had to stand right beside the bed. I, I think it was not until like midnight or ish there about when she woke up and she was like, ah, oh, you're still there. Hey, I'll go and sleep. Oh. J -j -j like, it was just, oh, Lord have mercy. You know, memories that you try to forget. I also mentioned, in fact, to on my uh, WhatsApp group, or my secondary school WhatsApp group, when we were all talking, I was like, listen, some of my worst memories actually came from the hand of the fellow classmates who now has kids. You know, I remember she friended me on Facebook at some point and I was like, she was just such a bully. And she was, she was so much of a bully that people, other, other, other classmates of mine were now trying to suck up to her so that she wouldn't bully them. You understand that kind of situation? She would even bully seniors, join. She didn't start with us. I think she joined us in our GSS 3, GSS 2 maybe. Um, yeah. There about. I'm going to add a little bit, just a little bit of palm oil to the pot. There we go. Just a little. And then I'll add a little of my, let me move your closer. There we go. I'll add a little of my pepper as well. Anytime I say a little, just roll your eyes. Just a little. Oh, there was this girl in my set one time. I think we're in GSS3 at the time. When these seniors sent her to go fetch water at around 10 p.m. Like it was so late at night. It was supposed to be some sort of punishment for her. Okay, let me just add some onions as well. Into that it goes. Okay. 
Yeah, it was around 10 p.m. that they sent her, it was late at night, they sent her, oh, they want to have their bath. So she has to go fetch water, something, 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 something. The borehole had closed at the time and we had such ridiculous security at that borehole, like they used to chase us and all of that. But of course she had to go. That's how this girl went to. I guess when she was there, the security now started chasing her. She now started running, still carrying the buckets of water. As she was running, she fell into a gutter, got injured. Terrible injury. She had to take the rest of the year out of school. When she came back, she was limping till today. Till today. That girl still walks with a limp. Her legs are not balanced. Just because what? She went to school. Just because what? She went to the boarding house. Just because what? Some seniors wanted to exercise their seniority. And what ended up happening to those seniors? They just got expelled now. That's all. What else? They were expelled. And that was it. They called it a day. What if their, their, their um, parents were so boxed that they were able to fly them out of the country as well and they started over in America and they are living their best lives. Meanwhile, that girl to today still works with a limp. Okay. All right, back to our cooking. I've added a little bit of Maggi and a little bit of salt. Now I'm going to add some water. No, actually, before I add my water, I like to put my yam first. So now we are going to add our yam, okay? And I'm not doing too much because, you know, I don't know if Nimi might enjoy it as much because he has some pepper, so. <laughs> I'm just doing for two of us. I mean, I'll still give him some. Hey, baby. I'll still give him some, but. Then we mix it all up like so. Yeah, baby. Okay, so I'm going to add some water to the yam because clearly this sauce can't cook it. But I don't put too much, okay? Just watch. Because I don't like my porridge to be watery. I mean, I still like it to have a bit of sauce, but not too much. Let me turn up the heat as well. Okay, there we go. Every time I say not too much, just roll your eyes, okay? Because <laughs> I end up adding a little bit extra. Okay. Yeah, but the point being, the water is always at the same level as the yam. I don't allow the water to go all the way or cover the yam, all right? All right. Since that's done, um, I'm going to cover it and allow it to boil just for a little bit. Um, it's horrific that that should happen. So, so many memories like that. It wasn't until I started becoming a senior, like SS1, you know, it started getting better. And then by SS2, it was a whole of it. Like, really, you hardly find SS3 students punishing SS2 students. And of course, by the time I became an SS3 student, who oh, punish me? You get. And by then, I, of course, I was more matured, I was grown, and all of that. So it became easier. But would I send my child to a boarding house? No. That's not to say that I'm judging the people that do because I know we all live different lives and there are different necessities there are different reasons why you would send your like maybe there's a part there's a very good school in a different city that you want your child to go of course ah, if the child goes there, the child has to stay at the boarding house now right so i completely understand that and you know i'm not trying to shame anybody for no 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 i'm just saying personally because because of what my experience was and because i know that at the end of the day you like let me say it's in Yoruba. Ojo lojo dabi oju eni juge. A lot of things. Like I went to a girls only school. G girls only. 
Okay, so use your imagination. Let's even forget. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper to <laughs> a little bit more pepper <laughs> to like dry pepper to my yam. All right. Let me reduce it. A little, just a little, a little, a little bit more, you know, just a little. <laughs> Actually, at least with this time. See, I'm done. I just like it when it's, it's spicy, you know, it's extra. Just when you're eating it, you don't get tired of it quickly because it's a bit, a bit spicy. So whilst the yam is boiling, let me... Do my plantain. Let's go over there and then we'll prep the plantain. Even me, my mom had to beat it out of me in terms of uh, I was just rinsing the plantain right now. Um, in terms of behaving like a boy, you know, I was on low courts, I was always acting as a boy in school. I would not get home, you know. In whose house? <laughs> my mom. But unfortunately, some people never recovered from it. Some people never did. I know some, I can think of as his own person right now, who just, you know, yeah. Anyway, if you don't know what I'm saying, forget about it. <laughs> okay, let's prep our plantain. Typically, I like to add my plantain to the yam before the yam gets done because I like the flavor of the plantain to make it into the yam, the yam porridge itself. Not like yam will stay on top. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So now we're going to go back into the stove area. And then we're going to add, look at that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> that was close. And now we're going to add the plantain to the yam. And stir it all up. Stir it all up. Just a teeny, 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 <laughs> teeny, teeny water. Teeny, 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 that's it. just to allow the plantain to boil well. well. Okay. All right, so whilst that is cooking, I'm going to quickly fix Nimi some milk. Um, typically, I like to give him some milk like 30 minutes to an hour before his nap time so that he can fall asleep a whole lot easily. Um, a bit, I've given Nimi his milk. Let's check on our yam, and I think it might be getting ready. What I love about this recipe is that it doesn't take long, you know? It's not, it's a, it's a quick meal. It's something you can do very, very quickly, see? But we don't want it to get burned, so. Now is the time to break the yam. Some people don't break theirs. I love to break mine. I don't know. As much as I can. Okay. Oh, I like to see crayfish on top of my porridge. And then I'll add some uh, blended crayfish as well. Just for that extra, extra taste, okay, an extra flavor. Now I'm going to mix it all up. My porridge is ready. I'm not going to dish it onto a, place, a plate to show you just because we're not ready to eat quite yet. But 
but that's my porridge see what I can see um, let me move closer yeah I like seeing the onion traces of pepper my crayfish over here as well I don't know if you can see that all the way on camera but yeah absolutely delicious it might be a bit dry for some people Ooh. yeah it's spicy just just about not too spicy might be a bit dry for some people but that's okay you can always add stew when you want to eat it if you have stew and if you feel like adding stew just add a little bit of stew on the side and that solves the dryness problem but that's how i personally like it okay what do you think about the recipe also as far as the boarding house experience is concerned i don't even want to begin to share too many stories because i know it will trigger a lot of people and it might start to make them remember things that we've already and it might start to make them remember memories that have been suppressed over the years you know because even though it's been so many years the thing is that we never forget like that girl that bullied me when i was my mates especially i don't even remember the seniors faces or names but now my mates i remember her full name i remember what she looks like i remember <laughs> so whenever i see her on facebook or whenever like I don't know i don't know whenever it, it just randomly pops in my mind i'm just like kai this girl this girl you know try but you know it is what it is thank god for seeing us through for pulling us through for sustenance for restoration for healing as well did you go to the boarding house what was your boarding house experience did you go to a boarding house school but you were a day student <laughs> let me know why you were a day student someone shared a story with me that she had to tell her dad that she wasn't going back that her dad said he would throw her into a public um school or whatever she said yes whatever she doesn't mind that that's how she stopped that that's how she did not return to that school because she was being bullied but yeah uh whatever your experiences are please share with me down in the comment section again i pray for that family i pray that god consoles them you know and that god heals their hearts as well thank you so much for watching i can't wait to see you again very very soon i pray god blesses you your homes your mar i've been holding this since i pray god blesses you your homes your marriages your relationships most importantly i pray god blesses you remaining god and god bless you Mwah. Bye. <laughs>